to this yin flow. This class will elongate your connective tissue in your side body and stretch all areas around your spine. We are going to start today in a seated position, sitting on our heels. Place your hands on your thighs and then start massaging them gently. Take deep breaths in and out of your belly. Take a full breath into your belly and a long exhale out. And then bring your knees wider and slide your hands forward, coming into your child's pose, placing your forehead on the floor. And then start slowly shifting from side to side. Since this class is focused on stretching your side body, it will help you create space in places you likely didn't even realize were constricted. From here, slowly walk your fingertips all the way over to the right side. Keep your sit bones grounded. Walk them towards the right until you start to feel a deep stretch from your left shoulder all the way down into your left hip crease. You will hold this and each single yin pose in this class for two full minutes. After this time, you will hear a soft bell, letting you know that it is time to come out of the posture. Breathe intentional breaths into the right side of the ribcage while you are here. Soften your jar and your entire face let go of your shoulders, of your belly. Let everything become soft. From here, slowly, without lifting your head, walk your hands all the way over towards the left side. Again, making sure that your hip bones are staying grounded on your heels. You can place your forehead on the ground. And then breathe into the space you are creating in your body right now. We focus a lot of our time on forward folds and back bends, not only in our yoga practice, but in our everyday life. However, for the body's health, it is crucial that we do not neglect the side body. So the poses we flow through today will help stretch the ribcage and allow for deeper breath throughout the day after you practice. The openness you create in this sequence will create the physical space you need to be intentional with your breath on and off your mat. So while you're in this pose, focus on deeply opening your ribcage with every single inhale, creating more and more space in your body.
When you're ready, slowly walk your hands back into the middle of your mat, coming into child's pose one more time. And then on our next inhale, we're going to round our back and slowly coming up into a tabletop position. And when you exhale, drop the belly, look up and slightly swim the body back. Stay in your tabletop, inhale, round the back, slowly slide forward. Exhale, drop the belly, arch your back and slide back. Let's do that three more times. Inhale, round out your back, press into your hands, slide forward. Exhale, let the belly become soft, arch the back and slide back. Two more times, inhale, round your back, come forward. Exhale, arching the back, looking up, sliding back. One last time, go as slow as you can. Inhale, round the back, come forward. Exhale, arching, flowing back. And at this point, we're going to round out our back one more time, sliding our hands forward and then coming all the way onto our mat, placing our forearms onto the floor. Let the tops of the feet rest on the ground and make sure that the elbows stack directly underneath the shoulders and then allow your forearms to remain parallel. This is our third yin posture, our swings. Try and actively lift the heart towards the sky and gaze slightly forward. In yin, we're ultimately trying to repattern our fascia system and healthily stress connective tissues in order to strengthen them and make them more adaptable to change and the pressures of everyday life. Both sides of the body have been lengthened independently in the previous poses. Swings has symmetry on both sides of the body now and allows the length that has been created to move into more space in the back and the heart. If you feel the need to increase the stretch, you can actively pull your elbows towards your body. But really what we're trying to do here, again, is finding softness and creating space. It is time to release. Now from here, we're going to actively press into our left hand, straighten the left arm and rolling onto our right hip. And then come back to center, switch sides, actively pressing into the right hand, rolling onto our left side. Come back to center, let's do the same thing again, rolling onto our right side, stretching the left arm. Come back to center and switch over, rolling onto your left side. Now let's stay here. Bend the right leg and place the right foot in front of your left leg. And then extend the right arm towards the left foot. And then let your entire left side body really fall into the space between your arm and your hip. You can play with your left arm, maybe bending into it and seeing how that increases the stretch. We are only going to stay here for a couple of breaths. Feeling our side body lengthen once more. 
and then from here bend the left leg and then swim the bent right leg back and then face your entire upper body towards the front of your mat place your bolster or pillow lengthwise behind you so that it is parallel with the long edge of your mat and then slowly and mindfully release the weight of your torso onto your prop and rest one cheek onto it depending on how deep you want the stretch to be you can either look towards your left side like i do or keep looking towards your right side to have a softer stretch here let both of your hands frame your bolster In this pose, both hips have a chance to release tension, but you also have the additional benefit of a deep spinal twist that comes into play. So you can really let go of your entire body here, melting into your mat, creating more and more space with every single breath. Slowly press into your hands and lift your upper body. Place your props aside. And then straighten both legs again and come back into swing bows, back onto your belly. And let's twist from side to side again, rolling onto your right side, stretching out the left arm, coming back to center, rolling onto your left side. Let's do that one more time, rolling onto your right side, this time staying here. Bend into your left leg and place the left foot in front of you. And then straighten both arms and reach the left fingertips towards your right foot. And then again, let your entire right side body fall into the space between your right arm and your right hip. Maybe you want to bend into your right arm to increase the stretch and see how it is different to when it is straightened. Take a couple of deep breaths here. We're not going to be here long. And then bend into your right leg and swing the left leg back. And then grab hold of your bolster or your blankets or your pillows. And then lay your torso onto your prop again. You again have the option to either look towards your right side to intensify this deep twist or you can keep looking towards your left side. Listen to your body, it will tell you how deep you can go today and what's best for you and your health today. And then let your own breath help you to sink deeper and deeper into this posture. 
to find more and more release and create more and more length. It is time to release, so slowly open your eyes and press into your arms, lifting your torso back up, remove the props, set them aside. And then come into a seated position, placing your heels as wide as your mat. And then lean your upper body forward in between your legs. Stretch your arms towards the front side. And then gently roll from side to side. Getting into this beautiful counter stretch. This should feel really good right now. We're again not going to stay here for long, just taking a couple of deep breaths. And then slowly when you're ready, bring your heels closer together and then slide your body all the way down, laying onto your mat. Bring both of your knees into your chest. And just hug them in, sway them from side to side, massaging your lower body, being gentle with yourself. And then grab hold of your left knee, extending the right leg away from you, and sway it from side to side, gently opening the hip. And then grab the left knee with your right hand and place it on your right side. Now you can either stay here and extend the left arm towards the left side, stay in the simpler variation of the twist, or you can bend into your right leg and grab the right foot with your left hand to intensify this twist, this stretch. You can also slightly push into your hand with your foot to come into a little bit of a back bend here and to intensify this pose even more. Close your eyes here if they aren't already closed and then relax, let everything go.
slowly release. And then when you're ready, roll back onto your back. And then from here, stretch your arms up above you and extend your legs out wide. Keep your hips where they are and slide your feet towards your left side of your mat. Either keep your legs like this or cross your right ankle on top of your left. And then do the same thing with your hands, walking them all the way towards your left side and maybe placing your right hand into your left one. you will feel a deep elongation in your whole lateral side of your body from your fingertips all the way down to your toes. If at any point you feel your arms starting to get tingly or even numb, you can release them down in line with your shoulders or even by your side. And then let's stay here again. It is time to release the pose. Bend into your legs and then bring both knees into your chest. This should feel super delicious in your body right now. You can maybe draw some circles with your knees, rocking them from side to side and then grab hold of your right knee and extend the left leg away from you. And let's slide the right knee from side to side as well, gently opening the hip. Grab hold of your right knee with your left hand and then place it onto your left side. Again, you can either just extend the right arm away from you, staying in the simpler variation of the twist, or bend into your left leg and grab the left foot with your right hand. And then maybe if you want even more, you can gently press your foot into your hands to increase the stretch and maybe even coming into a slight back bend in this pose. Gaze is towards your right side. And then become soft. melting into the floor beneath you, creating more and more space with every single breath.
slowly come back into your body, release, roll onto your back and then extend your arms and legs away from you. Keep your hips where they are and walk your feet all the way over towards your right side, crossing the left ankle on top of your right. And then walk your hands all the way towards the right as well, maybe crossing the left on top of the right hand. If you feel your left hip coming off the floor, try to keep pressing it down. We want both of our hip bones to stay grounded. This is our last yin posture before we go into Shavasana. So try and reap all the benefits of this last one. Really going deep into this relaxation. Feeling the deep elongation of the tissues in our side body. And then relax into the space that we are currently creating in your body. Let your breath be natural. Soften. And then slowly release out of the scene posture. Bring your knees into your chest one last time. Slowly shifting from side to side, massaging your own back. Keep your eyes closed. You can do some circles with your knees as well. Take any movement that comes natural to you right now. Now you can either stay in a normal Shavasana, simply laying on the floor, or you can again use a bolster or some blankets stacked on top of each other. Sit up tall and then place them right behind your back. And then slowly release your upper body onto your props. You can either extend your legs away from you or you can keep your legs in this cross-legged position like I do. And then cactus your arms open and let them fall out to the side really opening your chest towards the sky and then if you haven't already close your eyes come back to your natural breathing and let go of your entire body here release any last tension that you have in your face in your belly, in your shoulders, in your legs. Feel like you are physically melting into the floor beneath you. I felt the need to place my hands on my lower belly 
If that calls you, you can do the same. But again, listen to your body. Everything I say and do are merely suggestions. You are the only one who knows what your body needs right now. So learn to listen because the answers are all within. Now let's stay here for a couple of more minutes in silence. And then gently come back to your breath. Take a deep breath into your belly, feeling it expand. And then extend your arms over your head, bending into your legs, stretching everything out. And then from here, roll over onto your left side, making a little pillow with your hands, bringing your knees closer towards your chest. Keep your eyes closed as you slowly make your way back up into a seated position. Cross your legs in front of you, Let your hands find your thighs again and then start massaging them again, creating the physical contact to yourself. Feel the space we created in your body today. See how it gives you more space to breathe into your ribcage. Now let's seal this practice. Inhale, reaching the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, bring the palms together in front of your heart. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, reach your arms up, stretching your body. Exhale, swim the palms down, bring them in front of your heart. Bow down to yourself. Thanking yourself for gifting yourself this time today. Namaste.